Each language is a unique storage of information about the ethnic group using it and its culture, about the evolution of the language itself, as well as the nature of man as a biological species. The history of humanity saw the appearance of one languages and the extinction of others. However, in the context of globalization and formed information society, the process of language extinction has grown to alarming proportions in the recent years. According to the pessimistic forecast of UNESCO, with this rate, only about 10% of the currently existing languages would survive by the end of the 21st century. The challenge of our time is the preservation of traditions, cultures, languages and traditional ways of life of indigenous peoples of the world, including the Arctic peoples and their representation in the global information space, in the new multicultural environment of communication of the 21st century. This is particularly important for the indigenous peoples of the North, Siberia and the Far East, whose languages and cultures are already on the verge of extinction. There are very few native speakers and culture barriers. Therefore, our urgent task is to record their languages and cultures in the digital media and to introduce them in the global internet for future generations and for those who want to study, preserve and develop their native language. The Center of Digital and Cultural Heritage of the Nephew Yakut Global University deals with this important and urgent task. Project GO To introduce linguistic and cultural diversity of the indigenous peoples on the digital media and in the Internet. To create a virtual environment for communication in their native languages on a single multilingual Arctic portal. During the first phase of the project, from 2011 to 2013, the field trips to places of compact residence of indigenous peoples of the Sahara Republic Yakutia were organized to take video and photographic evidence of endangered native speakers and culture barriers. Yukagir, Dolgan, Events, Ivenki, Chukchi. The collected material is used in two ways. Firstly, the creation of digital educational media DVDs on the languages and cultures of indigenous peoples. Secondly, the creation of public multilingual portal for indigenous peoples. The center produced 10 informative educational DVDs on languages and cultures of the indigenous peoples, developed a mega portal of indigenous peoples where all the available materials have been already posted. The Yukagiris were the first to have been digitized and recorded on the thematic educational CDs as well as introduced on the Internet. The chairman of the Yukagir Council of Elders, Vyacheslav Shadrin, will tell a few words about this project. Since 2011, the Association of the Yukagirs of the Sahara Republic Yakutia and the Yukagirs Council of Elders have been cooperating with the Nephew Center of Digital and Cultural Heritage and implementing one of the most successful projects on preservation of the Yukagir language and culture in cyberspace and on digital media. This project has resulted in the release of 18 cities. Some of them are textbooks to study the Yukagir language, such as phrase books, dictionaries, voice recordings of various manuals in Yukagir. It is very important nowadays because we have few native speakers left. Another part of the discs represent digitized archival materials that were stored in private collections. The rest of the materials are materials on preservation of the Yukagir culture, its promotion and popularization. We do hope that the joint project with the Center of Digital and Cultural Heritage will continue and make a great contribution to the preservation and promotion of our culture and language. The work in this area has shown a great demand for the project, not only in the Sahara Republic Yakutia, but also in the other regions of the Russian Federation, where representatives of indigenous peoples live. In March 2013, this project was presented at the 7th Congress of Indigenous Peoples of the North, Siberia and the Russian Far East in Salihard, 
and excited great interest and support. In April 2013, the Arctic Multilingual Portal of Indigenous Peoples became a finalist of the Far East Internet Award Siberian Queen in the section The Best Non-Commercial or Thematic Project in the Russian Far East. The next phase since 2014 has been marked by the project expansion in the entire Russian Far East. The field trips for recording indigenous peoples on digital media were organized to Chukotka, Kamchatka and the Khabarovsk Krai. Unfortunately, we haven't managed to cover all these ethnic groups, but in the nearest future we want to present all the indigenous peoples of the Russian Far East on the portal and in the long run all the indigenous peoples of the North, Siberia and the Far East. The result of this project is that a single portal of indigenous peoples should become an accessible informational, cultural and educational environment not only for indigenous peoples of the North Siberia and the Far East, but also for the indigenous peoples of other countries.